Previously on The Potentialists. We got invited to a Dolphin event by a friend of ours. And today the Dolphins actually debuted their new uniform, which we got to see. You get to see kind of behind the scenes of uh, the training and what they do. And then all this cool Dolphin stuff from the history of the Dolphins. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. Miami in the summertime can be a beautiful place. Of course, the summer season is also the rainy season. So it's summer in Miami, and summer in Miami doesn't just mean sun and palm trees. It's really, really gross out. Like, when you start moving in the car, you can't even see it like three feet in front of you. I just got in and I found Dylan in the kitchen. What are you doing, Dee? It's the second time in the kitchen. Eh, so what? You look good in the kitchen. So, what are you doing? Making eggs for everyone. Did people ask you to or are you just doing this? I'm just doing this. I just thought everyone might have been hungry. I think you are an awesome, awesome person. So I asked Dylan if I could help him with anything, and he said that I can taste test. All right, I think you might make eggs better than your father. You have that energy. Four scores. Okay, <laughs> what is your energy? Why? What did you do yesterday to fix it? Uh, I went to the bathroom. He won't tell you. He'll tell what you later. Hell? I was just about to yeah. tell you. He won't tell you because that's something that you have to go to our seminars to learn how to do. However, your energy is not good. You know, can you do something to fix it? I can, okay. and I will. Uh, my goal is for no one to see it, but obviously, by the time I get it, it's already too late. Other people have seen it. Yeah, it's hard to know how you. It, you it's hard to gauge yourself. So, Eric, you notice it? Yeah, it's giving me a little lag too today. I mean, I'm always the last one to know, but now I have to figure it out. He's like, telling like, you, you're not listening. He's telling me now. God gave you two ears and one mouth, but he spends most of the time talking. He just said, "Yes, you gave me attitude." He's still talking. How many of you know of this one person, and sometimes it could be you, that one person, the one that always gets upset at one thing or a person and takes it out on everyone else? Well, that's LJ. LJ's that type of person. But he's working on it. There's certain tools that he has that he chooses not to use, but when he does use them, it does work. <laughs> so did you know when you get mad at him? No. Do you know? What me specifically is uh, Val and I gave attitude this morning. Oh. Uh, the list thing? LJ has a lot of good qualities. He also has a lot of annoying qualities. And they really annoy me probably because we have a lot of the same annoying qualities. Which might be why he annoys me so f much when he does f I was talking to Eric about a program that we were trying to set up and LJ just injected himself in the conversation and was like, do I need to listen to this? And I was like, no, you can keep working on what you're working on. And we kept talking and then he interrupted us again and started asking all these questions and finally it was just like can you please stop interrupting me right now and then he kind of gave me some attitude where he does that whole thing where he talks to himself where he thinks nobody can hear him and you know just kind of stared at the screen with that that mega nasty look that he can have and then later in the day when he was having trouble with the stupid program he started talking to himself and doesn't think i can hear him when i'm sitting right next to him Valor's a bitch he kind of just acted like a 12 year old and Really? Don't do the flickery eyelashes. <laughs> and I can say that because I regularly act like a five-year-old. It's fair. Okay, so if you're not happy with something, we all have to take a beating? No. I'm not happy with a lot of things. No. I don't go beating up on people. Well, no. that's a different episode. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so it's like 2.30 in the morning. I'm on my way back from... from Boa, and I saw something crawling in my rear view mirror, and there's a freaking cockroach on my ceiling. <sighs> hey, yo, how you doing? Check this out. It's Serge from Boa World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowler World. Feel me?